guys. So I'll show you how this one dried. It came out really awesome. And you can see the shine. That's from the um metallic colors. And yeah. I thought it came out awesome. The cells that are in it are just and the runs or what do you call them? I don't know. But yeah. The gold and all of them just came out so cool. The purple, that center. And then the purple ran with that and little bubbles came out. So I thought we'd do another one like that. I'm not using metallics this time, I'm just using regular colors. Um I'm using a purple, which is royal velvet, um, a red, which is um, dark red, I have yellow, and white, and black. My white just seems to turn, well, maybe not, but this time I'm not going to make a base, I'm just going to pour them directly, last time I used a white under it. I'm just stirring the white really good. <clears throat> this time I just want to do the direct colors and see what they do. So we're going to start with just with the white. And I left it the same way. This way I just think if I put it because there's like little walls on the inside of this. That's going to fill with a lot of paint. And these holes down here being against that. That would actually have to float for that to come up to leave a mark. I'll try it one sometime. But for right now we're going to try this again. So we're going to start with the white, just give us something to work with, cover the whole thing there, once that's covered then we're going to use that to pour our colors into, so let's go with the light colors first, go with the yellow, I just picked out some colors that I thought were really bright, and with this pattern that you're seeing to get on this, really seems cool. So, I thought it, with that happening, we would see what we can get out of the, the brighter colors. Since some other ones were a little dark, that's a little thick. Just a tad thick. Add a little water to that. That thickened up. Okay, let's go with some red. Get some bright colors in there now. You know the purple is dark. I just this purple I thought would be really cool in between them. I'm just hoping these colors come out something cool. Oh, my black's even a little thick. I stirred these. They seemed really thin, but they've sat here for just a minute. And yeah, so we're gonna make sure they're thin enough to run. Okay, here we go. A little drip of red in there, huh? Kind of keep the colors that more or less go together. Together so that, um, it's more white. So we don't get too much blending and mixing of colors. I mean, the black and white, of course, going to mix, but... Just to get us a good start. Um, yellow again. I'm just really curious what comes out. I thought that was really cool how it came out the way it did. Uh, purple. There we go. That's what we want. Some real mixing to go on. Some more red. Some black. be pretty neat I think it might be it might not be you never know uncover it all in white Let's start again Green and yellow and then our purple And the black. 
some white. Really gotta watch that dripping. Okay, let's let it just run for a minute. See how much we got on there. Uh, I don't know. I got plenty of paint left here, so we can just keep adding as it goes. But we're gonna let that run just for a second. <clears throat> Looks like we might get some cool fire effect. I'm hoping. And it looks really nice and level, so it looks like it's running pretty good. This maybe could be up a hair more. But let's go another round. I think we got enough paint for a couple more. That red really strong with that purple in them. Or not. That's all I'm seeing. I don't know where that purple all went. Some of that. And some white. And like I said, I can always pour in the center again like I did the other one. I don't know what's going to come out of the center of this one. So yeah, we're about to find out what's going to be crazy. <clears throat> it's funny how all the red stuff means the purple's all up underneath there. So when we stretch this is when the red purple will come out. Um, I don't really want that. Let's see what do we got left here. Let's just finish up what we got. We're going to pile it on. Let's roll my strong color to come in. Yellow's gone. Got a lot of purple left. Um, we're going to save some of that for the center for you side. Yeah, I'm saving just a tad bit of purple in case I decide to do something in the middle. I got a ton of red. But red has really took this one over. That dark red is a dark red and it definitely takes over. A lot of black in there. Now we're going to do some white. That's going to help push that out now. Now let's see what we got after this settles out. I'm going to try to just sort of pull that just a little bit to pull some of that paint out of that strainer. Cause it to go out a little farther. You know, since we got that red outside, I think we're going to do a red center on top of that white. Red and white there to finish that off. That goes more with the outside than finishing off with a big white blob in the middle. And just a tad bit of black. See what those will do. Yeah. Open it up, draw my little, drawing all that paint out. I'm just tilting it ever so slightly. <clears throat> Trying to make sure we get all that paint drawn out of that strainer. I'm trying to look for, I can see like, it's darkening around here, so that means the paint's getting thinner, I think. So we're just going to keep just letting it run around for a minute here. Make sure it's drained good. 
I don't want to leave a whole bunch of paint on there. Gravity is going to do its job. And the little holes eventually. I mean, a lot of it we're seeing is just what you see sitting there. Making it that color. I guess it's about time to pull it and see what we got under there. <clears throat> see if I can do this as good as I did the other day. One nice clean swipe. There we go. See, and now we're end up with that void. I sort of like that. That's neat. Um, let's do this then. Let's see if we can keep that. By filling the void. Gently. And you know what? I just seen something. Let's do this. Let's get crazy. Oh yeah. Let's dip that right in the middle. That's what we had. Not a whole lot. <clears throat> Not enough anyhow. We're going to add a little bit more. I was hoping I was going to pull more color up off that. I wanted just a black and red really. Go with the painting. And more black. And you know what we're going to do. I got to find my pick here. Okay, there it is. We're going to pull you out. It sure looks like an eyeball. Like a really red eyeball. This time we're going to keep this all together. I'm not going to destroy it and pull it off center like I did before. If I didn't shake like a leaf, I could do this so much easier. <clears throat> Always shook. Okay, guys, let's see what we got under there. That's already coming up pretty darn cool. I'm finally starting to see the purple coming up. I'm just going to slowly rotate it and try to keep that in the middle and expand the rest of it. Seeing some of the yellow. Forgot about the yellow was even in there. Oh, that yellow. Sort of turn into a pinwheel. Okay, then let's go to corners. Yeah. Let me pull some of the other color out. Just gotta keep that centerpiece. Okay, there we go. Okay. This is just amazing. What sort of gets me is all that yellow that was in there. Where did it all go? Now this is a harder piece of um, fiberboard. This isn't that vinyl that I normally use. I wanted to do something on a little stiffer one to see how this is going to come out. But yeah. So far. Just keeping some of it together. I didn't get the patterns like I did as much in the other one. <clears throat> Come on. Okay. Kind of pull. That's what I wanted with some of the Munra colors come out. 
know, see if we could find some of the yellow and some other colors, but. It's amazing how <clears throat> much that red took over. And try to run that slowly off that edge with these colors. Don't want to run right there. Give it a little hand. There we go. Try to pull you back just a hair. Some of these back off. Pretty cool. Wow. That pinwheel in the center really does look pretty cool. I do like that. I don't know if nobody does, but my last one hasn't got no major likes. A couple people thought it, one or two people did say they did like it, though, I think, in the comments. But yeah, guys, there you go. I know it's a little shiny because of that watery effect, but let me bring you down and show you from my angle. Like, yeah, the lights. Some on these might be too much light, must be, might be too much. But there we go. Yeah. What do you think? Sorry about that light. Um... Yes. I mean, pink even came out of that red. And then you get to corners. Pretty cool. And your white center. Yeah, that's amazing. Well, guys, I hope you're enjoying them. <clears throat> if you are, hit that like button. Let's me know whether you guys like them or you don't like them, or to keep going or not going. Do something else. Don't be afraid to leave a comment. I enjoy people letting me know what they think of it. It steers me in directions of what to do, and... What not to do. I don't want to keep putting something up if people don't like it. But yeah. There you go. There's the purple and the yellow there. A little bit of yellow. Very little yellow. After all that yellow. But. Hope you're enjoying it. Hope you liked it. If you did, hit that like button. Don't be afraid. Share. Subscribe. I appreciate it very much. I do this so people can enjoy it and have fun. You only get one chance at it, so do it where you can. Oh, there's my purple, yellow, black, and white. <clears throat> Tell me what you think, guys. Later. Peace.